India's top court has ordered an independent probe into spying allegations against the government. Narendra Modi's administration is accused of using Israeli spyware Pegasus to snoop on critics, journalists and opposition leaders. The government has denied any illegal surveillance, but has refused to confirm or deny if the spyware was used. A three-member independent committee headed by a retired Supreme Court judge is now going to investigate whether or not India used military-grade spyware to hack the phones of hundreds of citizens. The committee has two months to prepare its report and the court has asked the panel to work quickly. The court's decision to order a probe doesn't come as a surprise because in previous hearings it had indicated it might do so. But what was surprising was the top court's resounding criticism of how the Indian government has handled the issue. The court said it would not have even needed to pass an order had the Indian government explicitly stated in court whether or not it had purchased the Pegasus spyware and whether or not it had been used by Indian agencies. Now, the Indian government in previous hearings had repeatedly cited the concern of national security, saying it could not place these details in the public domain. It had instead offered to set up its own committee to probe the allegations. Rejecting that offer, the court said the government's denials were vague and that the state cannot get a free pass by simply citing national security as an excuse to stonewall a probe. It added it won't be a mute spectator when the crucial issue of the right to privacy of citizens and free speech are at stake and that it feels completely compelled to get to the root of the controversy. The courts also observed that the freedom of press cannot be undermined as this will have a chilling effect in any democracy. With this, India becomes one of the last few countries where a probe into the Pegasus controversy has been ordered. A global investigation by media houses found that 300 verified Indian mobile phone numbers were on the list of potential targets for surveillance using the Pegasus spyware. Of these, there were 40 journalists, three opposition leaders, two ministers and Prime Minister Modi's own cabinet and a former Supreme Court judge. Rahul Gandhi, a senior leader of India's oldest political party, Congress, was also among those allegedly targeted. Mr. Gandhi's numbers, which he has since given up, were reportedly targeted between 2018 and mid-2019, which is when India was in the midst of a national election. The Modi government has repeatedly denied these allegations, calling the controversy a conspiracy to defame India.